Hey YouTube, it's your girl Happy to Be Too Nappy. This is my first video on a book haul. Um, I have three books that I want to show you, briefly talk about. Um, and Well, it's more like a book haul review because I've read two of them. And um, so, I hope you guys like the video. Stay tuned and enjoy. So, the first book that I want to talk about um, is this one. Okay. I just want to make a note. Most of these books are, they're not new. And they're used. All of my books are used. Um, except for one of these books I bought. The rest of them are, well, I bought them all. But they're used. And so, um, they're also older books. So they're not the newest books. But, hey, anyways. Maybe you haven't read this book. So, the first one is called Swapping Lives. It's by Jane Green. And I'm just going to read you a um, comment off the back. And it says, For any woman who has lost her way in the confusion of modern life, um, you'll devour it in one sitting. And it was weird because I liked it. At one point, um, I didn't put it down. But at one, it was like I wanted to stop reading it, but I couldn't. I don't know. I can't. I don't know. But, um... It was good. This is the author here. Jane Green. It's basically about two women on, um, living two completely different types of lives that swap lives. And um, it has close to like 400 pages. 400 and something pages in it. It took me maybe a week to read it. And I was just like reading it constantly every time I got a chance. So I enjoyed it. And um it's a nice cover. I kind of messed it up. That's the back. It's pretty thick. so. But I enjoyed it. So I hope you guys um, decide to check it out. Okay, so the second book <clears throat> excuse me, that I want to talk about is um, definitely probably one of the most interesting books that I have ever read in my entire life. And not saying a lot because I've read a lot of books. Um, and maybe I just can't remember all the books that I read, but this one, it's called The White Bone. It's by Barbara Gowdy. It has an elephant on the cover. It's one of the most interesting books. I would have never, and it's so original. Okay, so we've all read books and seen movies with talking animals. And it's cute and it's fun, but most of the time it's, it's for children. It's written in the voice for children. This is a novel written in the voice for of an African elephant for adults. And you guys are either going, oh, wow, like me, or you're going, huh? Right. Um, let me just start off by saying, it's, okay, I said it was an original, but it's so realistic. How she gathered what she would consider to be the psyche of elephants um, and narrowed it into a novel that is readable that is realistic, um, that's believable, and entertaining all at the same time. I don't know. Talented woman. I can't say enough about this book. It is so good. It was so good to me. And if you like different interesting books like that, you would like this book. It's not even that difficult to follow along with. I just want to read you one excerpt off the back. Uh, and it says, The White Bone is a thrilling journey journey into the minds of African elephants as they struggle to survive in a land racked by drought and slaughter. Um, so, the story is told all through pretty much one elephant, even though it you know, varies by character. Read it. Go and get it. Whatever you gotta do. Okay? I recommend it. Okay, the last book... I'm only going to do three for now. You guys tell me whether or not you like the video and that'll let me know if I should do more. Or I like doing it myself, so regardless of what y'all say, I might still do some more. <laughs> um, anyways, the third book that I'm going to do is a classic. A lot of you may have read it. Some of you maybe have not. This is my first time delving into the book. so The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Um... What can I say about this book so far? Other than I've had it for a long time. Most of the time it takes me a week to two weeks to read the books that I get first. I've had this book for about a month and a half. I can't get past chapter three. What is it? 
about the characters from this book. I don't know. Oscar Wilde has a very feminine tone, a very feminine voice. Um, I can't quite put my finger on what it is other than that it's being feminine and I'm expecting something else to happen in this book that's not happening yet. And also, the fact that it was written in 1891 um, may be a little bit harder for me to just get sucked into that. Um, everything is so 1800s. A lot of times I'm used to reading period pieces and the author is a modern day author and so she has a mixture of the old... Um, colloquial, I don't know if that's the right word to use, but um, the way of their speaking mixed in with a modern voice and it's easier and this is just full on straight 1891. Either way, um, I'm interested to kind of get through it. It's a classic. I want to say I read it just to be able to say I read it. And um, so if you guys read this and you enjoyed it and you want to give me some heads up about it or your reviews on the picture of Dorian Gray. Leave it down in the description box in the comment or whatever. So, um, I paid two dollars for this. No, take that back. The book retailed at two dollars. I paid 33 cents, and I'm not gonna tell you where. <laughs> but if I get more books at 33 cents and you guys thumbs up this video, which I probably will be getting some more, I'll do a giveaway. I promise. Okay. I already just did a giveaway for my lot jewelry, which a lot of you guys did not submit into, but it's okay. I'll be patient with you guys. I'm not begging to give stuff away. <laughs> so those are my three favorite books. I'm laughing at my own jokes. Okay, anyway, these are my three, not favorite books, but these are my three books, and um, I hope you guys enjoy them. And... Um, don't take my word for it. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. More videos coming up.